Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Wump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. It's Monday. It's Monday. So let's get ready for our day. Yes, Queen. Yes. Shorter bangs, darker hair. We've got the purple going on because we got it refreshed on Saturday. Had a marvelous time at the hair salon. Um, we I got my Ipsy bag over the weekend. So let's do let's um, bag that real quick. And then let's get ready. I am wearing a cow cow dress. It's Candyland. Um, it's fabulous. Love it so much. Um, let's get going. So uh, in my Ipsy bag, I got some add-ons this time as well. My bag was distraught. So I need to make sure that everything's here because I haven't like reconciled it with the list that I ordered because things were like, it was bad. <laughs> We're doing but we did a bad job so uh start first uh this is the studio makeup flawless skin foundation it's got the hyaluronic up in it i don't know what shade i got uh oh gosh will you come out um oh i got the shade oat oat I'll try her on this morning recycling was over there i got a brush from complex culture I think I bought this for a couple of dollars. I think I did. Tiny, watch out. I'm throwing stuff, man. It's it's on this morning. Sorry, little dog. Um, this is, uh, I think it's like an Ipsy you know, house brand kind of thing. But their brushes are fabulous. This is a like a angle, not slight, it totally is. An angled, contoury, bronzery blush brush. That's what that is. Huzzah. This was already in the bag. I didn't pick it. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I have used this way back in the day. Um, I haven't used it recently. It's got some glittery in it. Look how pretty. So we'll add that to the, to the mascara drawer because we, we have gotten new mascaras recently and we do not need any more. This I know that I purchased. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. Hello. Precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. I got it in warm, light brown. The warm might have been a mistake. We'll find out today. But I don't think I've ever tried this pencil. So I've, I've had the brow gel, which I like. But I don't know that I've actually uh, gotten that pencil. I got a little Vizier palette. This is the Petite Pro Tra. Tra. Troy. Under toi. I think maybe it's the third. I don't know. But there she is. I don't know that I want. Do I want to use her today? I could. I could do a little, you know, one of these little things. Maybe we'll use her today. And use the lighter half. Yeah. Okay. We'll use her today. I love these little things. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. They're very small. My friend Kim on Instagram says she doesn't know how small it is. Tiny, y'all. That's small. It's very small. But. They're cute. There she is. An Illamasqua product. This is the, I think this was another pick. This is the Illamasqua Beyond Powder Highlighter. This is in the shade Deity. Look. Oh my God. There you go. There she is. Oh my God. That is gorgeous. I didn't know Illamasqua was still around. I'm glad they are. This is Duce, maybe? Mm -hmm. Duce? Whatever. This is a little face palette, I think. I've missed every single time. Mr. Mugwump is going to love me when it comes to picking up the recycling in here. I'll go clean it up. Y'all, you don't hate. This is a face palette. So we've got three blushes. Yep. They all have some amount of shimmer in them. You, all the blushes do. They aren't matte. Yeah, they, you see some of the shimmer and some of the blushes. And then some highlighters. Okie dokie. I got a Thrive Cosmetics Glossy Lip Hydrating Serum. I don't have any of their lip products. I've used their mascara before, and I think I've gotten one other thing from them. 
here we go. This is in the shade. Oh, it's in the shade Ruth. I would give this to my sister, but I want to use it. <laughs> Sorry, Ruth. Um, this is, oh, I know an add-on. This is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. Look how little. I think I paid three bucks. Ooh, she kind of girls. Um, we will use her starting tonight. Look how little. See her right over there. Okay, and the last thing I know this was an add-on to, uh, this is hysterical. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. It's a little old, look at that. Look at how cute she is, she's little. This is in light, Claire. Okay, so there we are, there's all the things. Uh, I am unsure about this necklace with this outfit, it's a lot. So I'm trying it with y'all. Um, I don't know if we'll wear it all day. I'm not sure. And I, I'm not sure how comfortable it is. I mean, it's fine. I just don't know if it's going to drive me nuts. You know, so you and I will try it out together. So let us get started with some face. So I will probably, I mean, I think I'm going to try to use everything that came today. Sure. Sure. Except for the mascara. Okay, this is my Kopari uh, Starry, is it Starry Eye Balm? Yeah, Starry Eye Balm. I had her tucked away somewhere that I have lost. So then I found her again. I cleaned my vanity, y'all. Oh, I forgot to show you what the bag looks like. This is actually quite a good bag, comparatively. It's a nice bag. So there she is. She'll go in the giveaway box. Um, I do not need any more makeup bags. But they make uh, good donations to places. High schools can use them for um, feminine products for like the guidance counselors, you can donate feminine products and um, just any kind of um, body product or whatever. You can always donate at the high school and use those bags. Okay, so there's that. And then primer today. Oh, I said I wanted to use this and I do. So let's use the Lorac Light Source 3-in-1 Illuminating Primer. We got her from Marshalls. Yeah, she does. Huh. Like a moisturizer kind of feel. Not silicone -y at all. It's, uh, definitely light reflecting. I think it works. This is in the shade Dawn. There she is. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's try her out. Did we find a shade? Yes, Oat. We found a shade. Oh, the pumping. She's got a pump. But we're, we're having some issues. Come on, sis. There we go. She had to get going. It's Monday. Took her a minute. I wash some brushes. Some better than others. Uh, that is a nice glow. Here she is. Ooh, she's like, geez Louise. Oh my goodness, geez Louise. She is like, okay. So this claims to be hydrating. It's got hyaluronic acid in it and all that jazz. Everybody's putting hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid and everything. Which is not a bad thing if you've got, you know, moisture. More moisture is a good idea. Alright, don't know how I feel about this. I got my brows waxed and they are much smaller than they were. And I like it. We're gonna try this for a little while. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about those. Okay, don't judge. See, so you get all in there now. Don't judge. Oh. Fam is up. Good morning. Mm 
<laughs> Tiny has to show out every day. And she wakes up choosing violence every day. Okay, I don't know how I feel. The coverage is not great at all. I mean, it's, you can see everything. Maybe we try a second layer here. This stuff is squirting everywhere. I mean, like, it's just squirted out that way. We ha we're having some issues here. So let's try some more right here. Let's see if we can build some here. I've gotten a few studio makeup products in bags. And... I believe this was a choice and I wanted to choose it. I love trying new foundations. It is one of my favorite things uh, ever. Putting on foundation is my favorite step of makeup. And I love trying a new foundation because even though I've got some that are amazing, holy grail status, love them, I'm still always on the hunt for more, yo. I will do it. Girl escaped. Okay, I'd say that we did build some. I'm gonna give her that. With the sponge, we do a lot better of looking like blending in. I don't know that a brush would be able to do that with this product, but. I always start with brush because I always apply with the brush first. The color is actually quite good for me. This is about my shade. I hope it comes across on camera. Sometimes on camera, the color can be a little off, but I think this looks pretty good. I've got a broken out where I had uh, my brows, but also my lip wax. I've never had that done before and I've broken out. I'm not surprised. I have sensitive skin. So there's that. Okay. That's where we are on that. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I'm not in love, but I don't hate it. Okay. I, I grabbed some things from the depths of the earth. This is one I want to try again. This is the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer from Koki Cosmetics. I cannot remember what I think of it. I have way too many concealers and I need to... I need to kind of go through them and say, I like this, I don't. This is the right shade, this is not. And get them out of here because I've got so many. So many. Um, this one might be too dark. <laughs> it's peachy though. Which is a good sign for eliminating the blue under my eyes. Let's see how she does. So I did a lot of work yesterday in my closet. I had been kind of thinking about how I wanted to like rearrange my clothes. And I finally did it yesterday, decluttered a whole lot. Um, my sister came over and chose from that and then we will donate the rest and get it out of here which would be great so I'm really excited about the fact that I have less clothes but what's left I absolutely love so that took quite a while much of the clothing that um, I had I've had for a very long time and I kept because well it fits not that I love it some of it not that I even like it but well it still fits and the idea that I don't have to keep it just because it fits uh, you know, for some of us, it's a little difficult to get rid of stuff. So we, we struggle and we learn. And so I am struggling and learning as you do. All right. Eye primer is Ulta eye primer. 
and nude. It's a little squeezy tube that it actually comes in. Usually on an end cap in Ulta. You know how you know how Ulta be. All right. All right. Base is good. We're creasing, which is not unusual. But we'll see how we'll see how this concealer does today. Okay. Ta da. So my sister is starting a new job today. So if you would do me a favor, just stop what you're doing. Think happy thoughts, send her good vibes, shoot her a prayer. Uh, this is the change is hard for a lot of people. This necklace, it's like hitting right at the neckline. Anyway, um, so there's lots of folks who are starting new new jobs and changing, and you know it's it's a good thing for her, and I'm so proud of her for doing it. Um, and I'm really proud of her. She's going. She's going to do this, and I'm so proud. So anyway, there's a text message that came across um, of her first day. She's working, like, getting, like, orientation and a bunch of people and all this stuff. So she's telling us play-by-play well, play what's going on today. I'm super excited for her. Um, all right, let's, let's pat her. Um, I do want to use the Pure all over my face, but I think I want, let's do the, um, bloop. let's do the uh, Crumb Shop under my eyes. It just, it will go better. Trust and believe. Tell me I didn't get a dot of foundation on my top. I did. I don't think you can see it. Good. This is my life, y'all. This is how we roll. Insanity. Okay. I just pinch, pinch the little powder puff and put that like a taco underneath my eyes. I am looking very yellow under there. Very dark. I think that might have caused the concealer to get even darker. I think it did. I hate that. Look at how dark that is, y'all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to happen. Maybe that's what this does is oxidize with, not oxidize, but like get darker with powder. Maybe that's why I don't like it. We'll try it another day with a different powder. But that's on the chopping block now. Okay, let's use the teeny tiny thing with the big old giant brush. And let's out of the rest of my face. Maybe try to match it to my under eyes. Jeez. So I think this is a powder foundation, maybe? What is it called? The pressed mineral makeup. Okay, maybe it is. Well, we've certainly gotten darker, but that's okay. You're clomping up and down the stairs. This is my one. Very powdery in the pan, and I've got it everywhere. Okay, I mean everywhere. I do have a drop of foundation right there. Oh, that makes me crazy. I don't think anybody can see it, but ooh, I can. Okay, we've got we've got a whole lot of something going on. Look how dark those under eyes are. Ooh, that makes me mad. What are we gonna do? I don't think we can do anything at this point. Set, short of wiping it off, I don't think we can do anything. Well, you know, I'm probably gonna wear glasses. Let's just get on over that, Leanne. Get on over it. Okay, let's do brows with our new pencil. Did I need a new pencil? No, how do I get in? Oh God, how, ooh. Oh, I can't get in. It's like moving up. Oh, wait. You don't pull it off on this one. I guess it's like a little trial or whatever. You do not pull the cap off. You can sit there until the cows come home and it won't come off. These are markedly smaller brows because I had not had them done in, I don't know, a year and a half or so. 
This is the first time I've had them done. I had, I do have one brow sits higher than the other. Um, it's a little cray. that oh as I threw it on the floor it's not a video all right let's do brow gel this is the Believe Beauty eyebrow styling gel this has been a good little brow gel my holy grail is the milk makeup Kush Fiber brow gel in Dutch and I've got some backups of her but this is one that I had open from my full face of Dollar General makeup which was a fabulous video because it was they were fabulous products I had never had this I don't think it's gonna work with this neckline it ain't gonna work either it needs to be a higher neckline or a lower neckline I don't think it'll work y'all I don't think it'll work okay brows on there they are I'm hating these under eyes but I'm gonna try real hard real hard okay I didn't get a new bronzer why did I sound like a demon I don't know I got a new blush new highlighter no new bronzer so let us use, we'll use the Anastasia one that we got in our, whatchamadoo, the Flotto BoxyCharm last month. This is in Rosewood. Let's use, let's use this new brush here. Let me get you up. Ooh, this is very, um, warm. Very warm. It's not bad. I have bangs or else I'd put it all up at the top, but I don't need that no more with the bangs. With the bangang. It's pretty. That's a really pretty bronzer. Like it. Okay. Let's do blur. Ooh, there's a something right there. Ooh. Okay, we'll just use the same brush. Um, let's go this little. Hmm. Hmm. They're very. They're kind of dark. Aren't, let's look. They're they're pigmented. No, huh? they're pigmented. Maybe this. Hmm. This pinky one here. That'd be fine. Face palettes like this are just fine. I wish there was a bronzer in it. If you're gonna do one this size, like it would be a lot nicer if one is a bronzer and that one in the middle is just too, it's too, it really is an orange blush, like which is great. I love an orange blush, but I just wish there was a bronzer in a palette of this size so that I could just, this was what I used and this is it and all that jazz. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of Blending right here. Let's use the new highlighter. And actually this swatcher too. Again, this is in the shade Deity Goya. It is it's gorgeous. It is like a white, it not like it's a white gold, but there's some pink in there. Oh, she's beauty. She's beauty. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I think she's crazy, so let me use a fan brush. Which kind of helps if it's super crazy. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, my God. Okay, now I gotta do the same the other side, because we just went all the town. Oh, my God. Hang on. <laughs> what am I done? Okay, let me do a, like a big old. These glasses better cover a lot of crazy today. Gosh, that, it's beautiful though. 
Oh, it's so pretty. That is gorgeous. That is a stunning highlight. Okay, we, we, we dissipated. We dissipated it, which is great because we were looking crazy. Okay. I don't think I like this cardigan. It doesn't go higher than that on my arm. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? We might lose the cardigan, the necklace. Who knows? The under eye concealer. We're going to lose it all. We're shedding the weight today. Okay, let's use the cute little thing. We'll use this little quad over here and make it kind of purpley cute. Get out of my way. All right, I need a little brush, a big brush. Mm. The color switch, because these ain't clean. Mm -mm. Start with these two, and then we'll go from there. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the. We'll do the light pink. I'll, okay. So this is like a light pink matte. It looks white, but it's kind of a light pink. Um, we'll do that probably in the crease, and then we'll do some of these shimmers on the lid part of our eyeball. Okay. Hit you. I do like these yard shadows. I think they are beautiful. They perform amazing. I have not ever been disappointed um, with a busy art shadow. Most all, no, all of them I have gotten from a boxy charm, either a sale or in a box. I have never bought a busy art palette outright. They are very expensive. Do I think they're worth it? I don't know. I don't know that I do. They are very, very expensive, but they're good. So it's probably one of the best things about BoxyCharm for me is to get products that are expensive. Um, and I think, so this is my neutral mats, like full size, like look how little. Um, this thing was $12. So it, I mean, you cannot beat that with a stick. It's great. Um, you know, you're talking drugstore price for something that sells for 80, I think $80 or $75, something like that. And it's definitely worth $12. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to work. So we're trying not to like drag ourselves 100%. That's fine. That's fine. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use my fingers. Use this on the outer and this on the inner. I think you can actually pop these out because they are a um, little magnetic, I think, which is cute. Did I just get some underneath? Yes, I did. That's how I roll here. Get shit everywhere. Sorry. Shit, is that a bad word? It's Monday morning. Uh, it's going, you know it's about to happen. Mm. Okay, we'll do the other one real quick. And I'm going to bring this, you know how I do. I'm going to bring the light shade up because that's how I like it. There's a black in here, and that, that uh, green, yellow green, is really, really cool. I would totally use that if this was a weekend. Like, that's not a black. Is that a green? Hold on. That's like a, a that's a green. Look at that. Oh, those are beautiful. Look. What a beautiful eye that would be. Yes. I, did, I thought it was a black. Cool. Okay, let's blend this first, and then we're going to go. Get that under the eye that I just did. I touched it with my finger. That's why it's so concentrated right there. It wasn't fallout. It was me. Those under eyes do not. It, it's not a terrible texture, but it's not a great texture. But it's it is completely, completely lined. Blend these two together. Look at that. One more hit. Quick eye. There you go. Just, just that. There we go. Ta-da. This, I mean, actually, this is really cute. This is like a neutral, like a brown, 
And I was, that's a, that's a cute little palette, y'all. She's cute. 10 out of 10. I know she's tiny, but I think she's pretty good. Pretty good, y'all. Pretty good. All right, next up, I think I need to clean some more of her. Are we going to do liquid liner? I think we are. Just a line, not much. Okay. This is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day. I think I got it in some sort of sample something. It may have been even the Target Christmas. You know what I mean? Like the little advent calendar kind of. It's that kind of size. But it works really well. I have really enjoyed that. I did. I wasn't. I don't think I've ever gotten that in a full size. I don't buy a lot of liners because I get so many in boxes that I wouldn't. I wouldn't actually go to the store and buy a liner unless there's like something specific that I'm looking for. So that's a thing. We'll curl lashes. We will, let's, um, I'll show you how I'm using that Il Maquillage Mascara that I got in my BoxyCharm last month or some. I can't remember. It could have been Etsy. I got two new mascaras last month. It's an interesting wand. It's got half uh, bristles or half like you know sticky outy things and then it's got a, a flatter side so see so half without anything and then half with so I take the half without any bristles and I lay it flat and I put product at the base of my lashes I blink into it and then I turn it the actual bristles and comb it through and brush it through and get more product on. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to use it, but it works really well for me. This mascara is very nice. I don't know how much it costs. This is my first Il Maquillage product, I think. I've seen their foundation and I'm very intrigued, but I've never, I haven't bought it. So I don't know that, and I don't know that I will. It just depends, but um, it's, I mean, it's a nice mascara. It works really well. It's a good one coater. You can also go in for a second coat if you want, but this is just how I've been doing it. No smudging, no flaking. It looks really good. Like all day. It looks great. There's that. Okay. Let's do Thrive Cosmetics. I look crazy. Do I look crazy? I feel like I do. I feel like I do. Okay, let me do this. Let me use the Beauty For Real. It's a little eyeshadow stick. It's like a champagne color. Let's put this on the lower lash line. do this a lot of times when I just want a little something that is lighter. I feel like there's some, no, it's this eye. It's that dang eyeshadow. Normally I would take a little tiny drop of my concealer, but that concealer is dark as ding dong. So hang on a sec. Let me take a little teeny tiny drop of Make it Revolution Concealing Fine. 
Let me just tap it right there. There. I mean, it was just the teeniest, tiniest drop, but it was enough. Ooh, drives me crazy. Okay. Five Cosmetics Ruth Lip Gloss. Huh. They describe this shade as a taupe. That is not a taupe, kids. Oh, it's pretty though. It's a little bit your lips fit better with some peachy. I think there's some golden shimmer in it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's a, I mean, it's a, is it a look? Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Is it great? No. I didn't spray. Let's spray. Good luck, Il Maquillage. Good luck. Oof. I did order Kimchi Cheek, just came out with new brow pencil. I ordered it uh, along with a new fan. Because I thought, treat yourself, girl. Uh, <laughs> we've had, this fan has been through the rings. If you've been with me for a long time, she's oh, so has she. Um, so anyway, that's, that's coming. And I think that's the, oh, I mean, I mean, I have box of charms coming. But I haven't, I haven't placed any other orders. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we get in Boxy Charm. And do a look. And I'll, I owe y'all a look with some of the new makeup that I got uh, from Ulta. So we'll be using a lot of that in the coming weeks and uh, seeing what we think about it. Y'all, I don't think this concealer is going to last. I will, I'll try it tomorrow with a different under eye powder. And if it comes out looking like this, she is going into trash. Like this is not, it's old also, but still, I, we shouldn't be turning orange into my eyes. That's not acceptable. Okay. There is the look. That looks a lot better with some spray on my face. You know how it is. Okay. We're itching. Okay, there it is. Um, and I think, you know, we will we'll work hold on. Hold on, just hold on. With the new bang. They're shorter. Look how cute. Look how cute. Yes indeed. We'll put the rest of the face on. Or the rest of the stuff on. I don't know how I feel about the necklace. I think it's gonna go. I think it's a lot. And it's the neckline is all wrong. Anyway. Thank you so much for joining me and hanging out, talking about my necklace for 30 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. If you guys liked this video, if you give it a thumbs up, that really does help my channel. If you uh, enjoyed me, hit subscribe and let's hang out and be friends on the internet. Thanks so much. Y'all have a good day. Bye.